All right, guys, big news. Team USA has just announced our 2024 MX of Nations lineup, and it's a good one. In the MX1 class, we'll have the obvious choice, Chase Sexton. Chase has had a heck of a year, arguably the best of his career. And I think what's impressed me the most about him, we've all known since the moment he got on a 450 that he's had the speed to win but it's the way he's learned to manage that speed and he's turned himself into a very consistent rider um, that even on his bad days he limits the damage he gets good starts he won this event back in 2022 i've seen so much growth with him this year in terms of yeah just managing that speed and knowing when to use it and i really think Chase is capable of being the best rider in the world on any given day. And I couldn't think of anybody better to, to lead this team. In the MX2 class, we have maybe the breakthrough rider of the year in Chance Hymas. Oh man, what an opportunity for this kid. You know, coming off an ACL surgery last year, he showed up this summer and showed future champion level speed that I think a lot of people didn't expect. Um, battling with Hayden Deegan all summer. I think that'll prepare you for, for pretty much anything, for any challenge that comes um, here in October. And man, I have never seen anyone more committed to keeping their elbows up than Chance Hymas. The kid has great technique that translates to a bunch of different conditions. And I like his chances. And in the MX3 slot, we have a very popular and very deserving pick. Aaron Plessinger, Captain America himself. Aaron has had a great year. I think he's made a little bit of a step up speed-wise. He's consistently inside the top five, battling for podiums. Um, his starts have gotten more consistent. And the thing with Aaron is you know he's going to bring everything he's got. The guy loves representing his country, and it's, it's really difficult not to root for. And something else that I think is a bit slept on is the team chemistry. I think it, it plays a big role um, in the outcome of the event. And we all know Aaron and his vibes are absolutely immaculate. I know he gets along really well uh, with his teammate Chase. And I think that will mean good things for Team USA. Huge congrats to these guys. This is a big deal. That's the squad. I love it. I can't wait to be hanging over the fence in the UK and Matterly Basin with my chainsaw and my air horn. I think we got everything we need to, to bring the trophy home, but I'm just one man. What do you guys think?